thank you for opening my video my name is Festo and I'm from Nifty I blog today I'm gonna show you how to change PHP memory limit for your WordPress step by step in a video so I just made a post in my blog and uh, it's about the same thing in written form now I'm gonna try to show you exactly how you can go about doing it in a, a real-time environment so um, I'm using Bluehost and HostMonster on most of my websites and today I'm going to show you this illustration from HostMonster so let's go ahead and get started we're going to be using these same same steps to do that so the first step is to log into your control panel usually it's just your w, I mean www.yourdomainname.extension.cpanel so I've just done the typing of my username and password and I'm presented with HostMonster control panel this is how it looks so here the second step says under uh, the software slash service category click on the PHP config icon so let's go there and look for it okay uh, software services category here we are and here is the PHP config icon so I'm gonna go and click that and see what comes next okay here we have the following screen let's go back quick and see what we have to do so in this screen there is a section called install default PHP um, dot ini under that section please check the ma check mark the ion cube and the source guardian and then the step 4 will be to ins click the install PHP ini master file okay let's go back to the control panel and see so we have this PHP 5 single PHP in it's same as PHP 5 but all subdirectories will be will be using this um, tail slash uh, public underscore HTML slash PHP dot any so as the instruction says we're gonna I'm gonna select this ion cube and source guardian and hit this big button um, install PHP any master file okay so here we are successfully installed the PHP dot any dot default file so you have to see this php dot any dot default file and we selected our all the check marks as suggested let's go back and see what we have to do next you have just successfully installed the php dot any default file but the next step is to rename it so we have to rename from php dot any dot default to php dot any so we have to remove this part here so how to go I mean how to do that under the file category in your control panel please click on the file manager icon so let's go back to the to our control panel back to the control panel and then go down to the file then we see this uh, file manager and I'm gonna go and click that and then the steps says you have to select the web root public and the check mark this uh, show hidden file uh, dot files in some case you might not get this dialog box but don't worry about that what you have to do you have just to you just have to scroll down and locate this reset or interface settings so just hit that and then refresh your control panel and boom your dialog box will be there after you click the file manager so I'm gonna go and select this and check that one and click go so as you can see here we are presented with the uh, file manager so I'm gonna browse and look for the PHP any default file now you'll notice here I have two files php.ini and php any default actually this file I just created uh, sometimes uh, a few days ago when I was just setting up my server and now this is just for the care I mean for the sake of this uh, video so what you have to do in your case you have to right click on this uh, file and then select rename so what you want to do is uh, I'm gonna press the backspace on my keyboard and remove this part until there and then I'm gonna go and hit rename file but I'm not gonna hit it now because I just have my file set up already so I'm not gonna do that but in your case we just go and hit rename so I'm gonna cancel this and just delete this file just this is just for the sake of this uh, video okay I'm gonna delete the file 
and then the next step is oh one thing you can do if you already have this php.ini and you want to use that new file you better rename this to something like php uh, old.ini so that in case you want to reverse back to the original file you can you still have the file to recover from so you just right click that and then hit rename and then just type here the name that you want to use uh, as a backup of your file so that will be pretty easy and safe to do because having a backup is something which is very advisable now let's go back and see uh, what we have to do next so I'm gonna go back to the blog and check the next step um, now we come here your PHP file is now active and fully functional congratulations now it's time to make adjustment to the file because now the idea is to change those memory limits which cause the WordPress to not to respond well sometimes so to edit the file you just right click on the PHP file and uh, choose the edit option and then change the values like these examples show so here we have the uh, examples on how to uh, to change the um, some settings we has just go back to the control panel and see what we can do there okay so here we are I'm gonna right click this and hit edit right here this is gonna open the the php.ini file so uh, the simple I mean the easy way to do this is I'm gonna go back to the blog steps and see what I have to change so there is this placeholder here memory limit I'm just gonna go and uh, copy that and then I'm gonna go back to the editor uh, hit uh, control F from your keyboard to show this uh, little search uh, box here and then I'm gonna go and test that so as you can see it's now highlighting the memory limit now you can see my my file has been set to 200 you can set to any size you want but please check please cross check with your host company police because you don't want to mess them up with that like huge files some don't even allow that so that's the first thing and then let's go back to the steps something else you have to change is the upload max file size so I'm just gonna do the same highlight and copy that and then I'm gonna go back to the file editor and paste it there and then voila we have this here it's a 200 M for me I'm sure I'm not gonna upload any file above maybe 10 or 15 MB but this just to be in safe side in case sometimes that happens maybe once in a year so uh, these are pretty much what you have to change you can go and browse some things but I do advise you if you don't know what you're doing please just leave all these settings untouched if you don't want to break up your system now that you've done that you have to hit uh, save changes so that your changes will take effect go back to the nifty I blog uh, there's something I want to stress out here it's on step 11 um, this you should know the php.ini file is generally directory uh, specific so if you have php5 uh, single or php5 uh, CGI selected on your php config I think you remember this from here if you have this selected or this one then you should have a problem with that but uh, if you haven't selected those which means if we have this one selected then you have to do the following what you have to do you might need to copy I mean the php.ini file into the subfolders inside your public uh, HTML directory this may be dozens and dozens of subfolders you know it depends on how many folders you have and um, sometimes it might take between 15 to 30 minutes uh, before the system even recognizes the php.ini file or any change that you have made in the file so I would advise you to s do these selection uh, this one or uh, this one so that you don't have to do those kind of copying and you know that's like it will be like duplication of the PHP file whenever you want to do some changes you have to look for all those damn files and then do the changes which is like come on it's easy just select this one on this one and then boom you have 
all the folders using the same PHP file. Alright, that concludes all about the this video and thank you for listening. Please remember to check back to the Nifty blog for some other posts. Thank you very much.